All right, so we got some crazy earnings coming up, but there's one stock that I can't stop looking at, and that is Quantum Skip. Now, you're probably wondering, why would I pick such a risky stock to invest in? That is because I see a potential upside depending on how this earning report goes. Now, guys, we're trying to hit 100 subscribers, so hit the like, drop the sub, if you see value in these type of videos, so I can produce even more videos. Now, what is QS, for those of you who don't know? They are basically producing solid state batteries. This is the next step in battery technology where lithium ion is what we see in current cars, right? EVs. So why is the stock going to see a possible 70% in share price? And this is going to be because as we head into earnings, you know, there's a high short interest and they need to accomplish possible breakthroughs where a lot of investors can be attracted depending on what they produce. So key milestones, what do we want to see? And for 2021, we want to see a completion in the 8 to 10 layer full size cell, right? If they do complete this by 2021, that means they are on task to commercializing their battery by 2025. That being said, I want to talk about the Scorpion Capital because they basically produced a short report saying that QS is a pump and dump, it's a scam, that their data was BS, the battery is not legitimate. And one thing you guys need to understand is that when QS produces their batteries, they send it to their number one investor, which is Volkswagen, and then Volkswagen tested the batteries to make sure they're producing their goals and their, the results that they're saying that they're producing, and then they fund the company based off of that. But you guys need to think about it. If Volkswagen is QS's number one investor, even if they're not producing the results, there's still a chance that they don't want QS to go underwater because they're going to also get hurt by that. They're, at the end of the day, they are investing a lot of money into this company. So if we get that third-party tester to test these batteries and make sure that they are legitimate, not only is it going to denounce this short report over here, but a lot of investors who were very skeptical about the stock are going to now enter it knowing that there's proof that these batteries are legit and they're coming through. That being said, we could see a rise of 70%. Why? Because look at the short interest as well. 19.69%, possibly even higher as of right now. Now, looking at the moving averages, we see the 50 MA at 26.77, the 20 MA at 25.46, and then where I think we're going to see that resistance, which is 200 MA, 39.54, which is the $40 price target, right? That's where I think we're going to see, you know, our run upwards and then where it will start to slow down. So if they produce these two things, right, the 8 to 10 layer battery cells, and plus they show that third party tester, you know, this stock could see a nice squeeze upwards to that $40 level because after $30, there's not much of a resistance that's keeping the stock down. Also, I want to talk about we're currently at a very critical level. And if we do not produce any of these results, this upcoming earnings, this stock doesn't have much support after this. It's basically downhill and it can get very ugly fast. So guys, you guys want to be very careful. This is a speculative stock. And at the end of the day, they're not producing any actual revenue yet, meaning that this stock could lose a lot of its value, you know, very easily if they're not producing any breakthroughs or whatnot. So there's a lot of hype in it, which comes from the breakthroughs and what the batteries are accomplishing. So guys, you guys got to be in and out and very careful when you are investing in this type of stock. But if they do accomplish commercializing this battery right in about five to six years, this stock is going to easily be a 10 xer trading around a hundred to two hundred dollars because for those of you who know the solid state battery is a 200 billion dollar marketplace possibly even higher because a lot of cars are going to be relying on this battery as the next revolutionary step upwards so that's it for today's videos guys also want to know that qs competitor is tesla toyota and samsung those are the main ones so we're going to see tesla's earning report see what they're producing because normally their stock price somewhat correlates with qs's and you could see something happening on the after hours so keep a check on tesla earnings on monday it might affect qs's nonetheless guys let me know down below what you think and whether or not you would invest in this let me know